don't know which way is up February 18th. What a show we had tonight. Yeah, it was great. Jennifer was our headliner and my band Diane and the Deductibles. The audience seemed to pretty much dig everything that we played, which was wonderful. It really felt like people were really listening and really, really with me. I had a great time tonight. I didn't know what to expect. This is a great venue, actually. Really nice uh, crowd and just a great, great time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Breaking the chain. Whoa, 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 whoa. Break it. Break it. Breaking the chain. shows here at this concert series at Huntington Beach Library are stellar because the crew is great. And everybody's like total pros up there. Sound great guys. crew. There's not too many great venues anymore. It's just always about the numbers. This is more about the integrity of music. This is a concert feel and not a smoky nightclub feel. It sounds good. It's just a nice clean environment. I love it. Just like a drunken fight, I swear you're swinging right with all your It's a great size, great audience, real nice stage, good sound up there on stage. These kinds of venues that are less than 500 people allow for the possibility of a more intimate performance. Try to give the audience that experience. Jennifer, she's tremendous. I've always loved her. I saw her six years ago at McCabe's in Santa Monica, and she was so inspiring. She always has good lyrics and good melodies. She's got a lot of life experiences that she shares with the audience. She's probably the most honest singer I know. She won't sing anything unless she can get behind it emotionally. Tell me what you think you're hearing The devil tapping on your door again You wear that guilt like a jacket, a gift from your only friend. Maybe you need... Love Wins Again, which was the album that received the Grammy nomination, is my 12th release. So I've been doing this a while.
created a goal for, for the band, and that was to always have a new song for each show. We actually had a long time to kind of develop this one. It seems dramatic, you know, it's, it's almost like theater. I loved her performance, and I think she is a great band leader because you don't get a band that sounds that great without being a great band leader. I think it's great rock and roll. Plus, she's doing original material. I think this whole live, you know, real music needs to be kept alive. Janova calls it human connection. When the audience and the band are kind of one, it's a shared experience. Music has a way of reconnecting us. Live music, real bands, playing real instruments, real musicians, real songs. When we're moving so fast, it gets real easy to just miss that. People bonding over the music, and then you can go anywhere from there. You can have a good time, you can party. Well, give it to me one more. In Huntington Beach, this is the only venue, and in Orange County, it's probably one of the nicer venues because it has a lot of other rooms that attach to it, so you can have a lot of activities going on, the meet and greet after party, VIP Rockstar Lounge, brava to her for doing what she's doing, making sure that the community has this available. The community of Huntington Beach has this available. It's brilliant. This is the first of the 2017 series. Our next show will be with uh, Missing Persons. I'm very happy to be a friend of Diane Adams. Her band and her, her musicians and her music are just so smooth. And I'm so happy to be a part of this at the Huntington Beach Library Theater, which is absolutely awesome. The sound is precise. Come to the next show. It's a great venue here in uh, Huntington Beach. Come on down. Just show up what Diane has. I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Keep 
supporting live music, please. The world really needs live music. It does the most amazing things. And I'll stay.